Did you know that you can use VBA to allow the user to select a file and based on the selected file, you can run your macro and you can perform operations such as copy pasting of data or creating report or data manipulation. To explain to you what I mean, here I have a button. So if I click on it, I get here a window and in this window, I have some files. I have a customized title and here I have a filter only on Excel files. So if I select this file, basically it will open the file and copy paste the data here. How to do this? It is very simple. You will see it's just a few lines of code. So to get the Visual Basic Editor, you're going to do Alt F11 and then you get here a module. If you don't get a module, just right click and do Insert and then Module. Here I have something commented that I'm going to use for later. But below this, I'm going to do a sub, sub file underscore open, enter. The key code for this is basically application dot get open file name. And that's it. So to understand what this does, basically we're going to put a message box. And we're going to close the parentheses and we run it. If you see here, I have a lot of files. I can select test. Once I select test, I will get the full pass of the file. So remember, we did not open the file with this command. We did not do anything. We just picked up the name of the file. And once you have the name of the file, you can use commands in VBA to open the file, to copy, to paste, and to do many things. So let's continue. Since this is a pass, we're just gonna remove this and then create a variable called dim pass as I'm going to put it as string for now, but this is not the correct thing to do. I will show you why. Here I can do pass is equal to application dot get open file name. And this is where I'm going to store the pass of the file. Now, if I want to open this workbook, basically I can create a workbook dim wk as workbook. Then I can do set wk is equal to application dot workbooks dot open. And for open, I only need the pass of the file and the pass we stored it here. So we're going to put it here and let's try it. So we run it. We select our test and you can see test opened. Once test open, I can just pick up this data and paste it here. To pick up the data and paste it, I can do WK, which is my new workbook, dot sheets. Here I need the name of the sheet. If I don't know the name of the sheet, I can put the index. In this case, I want the first sheet that we have in the other workbook, the one that we just closed. So I'm going to put one and I'm going to show you another methodology to call a sheet. So here we do dot range A1 to B6, which is the range where I have my data, dot copy. Next, I need to paste it so I can do this workbook dot sheets. Here I can put the name of the sheet instead of the index. You can do the same thing here actually. So here I'm going to do and sheet. Why and sheet? Because this is the name of my sheet. Then I can do dot range A1 because I want to paste everything starting at A1. Then I'm going to do dot paste special. Next, I need to close the other workbook. So WK dot close. And then here I have save changes. I don't want to save changes in the other one. So I'm going to put false. Let's try it. We open select test. As you can see, I got my data copy pasted in this workbook. Now this has a problem. Let me show you the problem and how to fix it. If I run it again, and then I don't select anything, I do cancel. You can see that, sorry, we could not find false.xlsx. So it thought that I want to open a workbook called false. If I stop this and I put here a breakpoint and I run it, 
if we select cancel you can see here down in this locals window which you can get by doing view locals window you can see that I get false into double quotation mark so it's thought that false is a string and when I select something I get the pass as a string but I don't want this false to be as a string I want it to be a boolean when I say cancel I get the boolean false and if I say that I want a file then I want a string that contains the path of the file so now we have a boolean and we have a string so this dim pass should not be a string nor a boolean I can keep it as a variant if I keep it as a variant it will take the type that I want automatically so this will solve part of the problem the second thing I need to do is an if statement so let's put an if statement here if pass is different than false if you noticed here I didn't put false within double quotation mark because now we get false as a boolean because we call this a variant and just to show you this I'm just gonna stop this and do the same if I don't select anything now you see that I have the value of pass false and this is a boolean right so now we just stop this and we do if pass different than false then and if we have everything within this if statement so let's ident it with the tab and here if I run it again I say cancel nothing happens if I run it and then I select a file it gets copied so this is one problem fixed the other thing that we will see is how to get if you remember when I clicked here I got a filtered list with only Excel files and I got a title for the window so how to get this let me show you a little bit of theory here is the page that talks about this method I'm going to put the link in the description but basically this method get open file name has five arguments that are all optional the most important ones are this one this one and this one the first one allows you to filter a type of file for example word for example excel so that's what we're going to use now if you remember i showed you that i had something here this is to select excel files if you want word files you have here some details vba files all files if you don't put anything it will show all files the other one is the title which means this is the title of the window that you'll get and prompt the user to select and then you have multi-select which means whether you want to select one workbook or multiple workbook or file so let's use some of it here what we can do is open the parenthesis I have the filter first so for filter I'm just going to copy paste this and then I have comma the filter index which is the second one it's not important and then the title which is the title of the window we're going to write select then we just run it you can see that now I have only Excel files and I have select up so I select test and then I get it here the last thing to do is just to add a button so to add a button you do insert illustration icon for example you can do pass let's say this and then if I want to I can just right click assign macro file open and then based on this it will do the same functionality so this is the concept that you can use to allow the user to select a file and then perform some operation let me know in the comment section what are the use cases that you face using this and please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel